Today I'm going to quickly demonstrate the quickest way of deleting mixer tracks and mixer inserts. The way in which FL Studio allows you to do this is, is quite counterintuitive in that if you actually go looking for that option, it doesn't actually exist. Now what I mean by that is, if you was to right click the mixer track, go to say file, you'll see open save browse, you know, no, nowhere here does it say you can actually remove a mixer track. So if you, if you filled up a mixer track with you know seven or eight different inserts, you don't want to go in and manually delete them. You can, well, in theory, you should be able to just delete the whole track. Now the way to get around not having a dedicated option is for you to, is to go up to file and then select save mixer track as. So if I go to an empty mixer track here, if you right click file, save mixer track as, if you hold down right click and drag, you can then drag it over an existing mixer track and it will replace it. So to demonstrate again, snare track here has got a parametric EQ. Right click on insert 10, file, save mixer track as, and the parametric EQ is gone, as you can see. It, it also resets the track back to its default state. So if you've messed around with the, the volume or the panning, you know, that will also be reset along with the removal of the plugins. You can do a similar thing with the inserts as well. Left click on the little drop down arrow, go to save preset as, and then you can just drag it over like that. So it's actually a good way to, to copy and paste plugins if you want to just tweak the settings of another and automate how that switches on and off. You know, The possibilities are endless. But to, to summarize, that's the quickest and easiest way of deleting or replicating a mixer track or a mixer insert. If you'd like to see more videos from the series, please remember to subscribe and you can do that on screen here.